I don't know what the hell I just watched. Here we are, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre requel brought to us by Netflix. Hour and 23 minutes, I am never gonna get back. This is the worst movie I've seen so far this year. Easily. Like, I thought the 355 had that spot solid, but no, 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 ho, ho. And this breaks my fucking heart because I love Leatherface. I love the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I'll die on this hill. I thoroughly enjoyed the 2003 Jessica Bill Texas Chainsaw Massacre reboot. I really enjoyed that movie. Yep, that's good shit. And to get this... After all the bullshit that this fucking series has gone through, franchise, sorry, this franchise has gone through, after the, the entire bullshit of it all, to get this... <sighs> this is bullshit! I'm gonna get this out of the way. Not at any point did this feel like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. At all. You know how in the original you had that sick, twisted, sadistic vibe with the family, a bunch of cannibals giggling at the fucking tragedy that has befallen these, these stoner kids? Oh shit. I would get fucking ice in a horror movie so fast. Oh yeah. That twisted pink flamingos divine shit that was attached to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's gone. <laughs> And that breaks my heart because that is a huge aspect of this story. And to get this movie, which is just fucking murder porn, it, it, that's really all it is. The story takes place years later in the ghost town of Harlow, where these kids are coming in essentially wanting to buy up the place and then start a new business and this and that and yada, start the town. And they want to basically escape all the chaos that has been plaguing the world lately so they basically buy the land they show up nobody likes them it, it it's one of those type of stories and then the fucking story just unfolded before me and i'm gonna be real there's a part in this movie where everything could have ended 45 minutes in the original survivor of the first movie she's like laurie strode now in the halloween reboots she really is she's been waiting 50 years for this and she's been training and shooting and she's a badass and this and that and man she really wasn't that badass there are some creative kills but the amount of cg applied man it we i don't understand how we're still here the story revolves around these two sisters, their friends, and I'm gonna be real. About 20 minutes into the movie, I just wanted them all to die. They were insufferable. I swear to God, I will dice you into a million little pieces. I put those pieces in a box. A glass box. I did not care about any of these characters. In the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, when someone died, you're like, oh shit, because you actually care about them. The fucked up thing about this movie is I actually cared more about Leatherface than I did his victims. This is not okay for a horror film in any way at all. Listen, I do not want to have sympathy for Michael Myers. I do not want to have sympathy for Leatherface. I do not want to have sympathy for Jason Voorhees, for Freddy. They are awful monsters. They are terrible individuals. Like, there's a scene in this fucking movie where you actually kind of feel bad for Leatherface, and I almost turned, I, well, I kind of paused it and walked away, but I almost turned off the movie entirely. I'm like, dude, fucking, why? You're telling me I should feel bad for this dude because he lost something that he loved when he literally took how many lives over the course of, 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 of all this happening, even the ones we don't know about. To throw that emotional tone around like you're in the fucking Royal Rumble is ridiculous because it not only ruins the horror aspect of the film, it ruins the suspense, it ruins character development, it ruins the kills. And when you kill off the best character 25, 30 minutes into the movie, <laughs> deuces i did not like this movie i hope they do not make a sequel i will never watch this movie again if you want to waste an hour and 25 minutes of your life go ahead actually here i'm gonna save you the time wait until all the kill clips come out because that's the best part of this movie there are some cool kills if you like cg I, eh, me not so much but if you like cg awesome the pacing is off the story makes no sense i wish everyone fucking died i do every single person in this movie leatherface included and it just gets eradicated from the earth. I feel like fucking Al Pacino on the end of that Adam Sandler film right now. 
burn this. I'm sorry? This must never be seen by anyone. That's how I feel. That is how I feel. I literally had to watch clips from the original and even the 2003 reboot to wash the taste of this garbage out of my mouth. Oh my God. Which is going to bring us to that final grade and Netflix's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You're going to sit at a solid 2.5. I, I will, I'll die on that hill. The 2.5 are for the kills. Everything else, gone. Story, gone. Characters, gone. Leatherface, everything, fuck this Leatherface. That old lady, fuck that old lady. I did not enjoy the movie. More importantly, I want to know what you thought about it in the comments below. Leave me your thoughts, whether you enjoyed it, whether it's not for you, whatever's gonna rev up your chainsaw, yo. Thank you for checking out the quick review. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you stab that subscribe button with your chainsaw pick it up in the air, and rev that shit to eternity to keep updated <laughs> on all my latest content. For now, though, this has been Jackson Saves Everything, and I hope you have the best day. <laughs>